Hey guys, so today we're diving into something very special, Taito, a martial art that blends tradition with a modern twist. Stick around as we unpack the amazing moves and unique vibe that Taito brings to the table. And if you're into awesome martial arts content like this, make sure you guys subscribe. And also, if you would like to see the uncut version of this video, make sure to check out my membership page for more contents like this. So let's get started. All right, so um, how, how can we start this? So um, the first thing that he's a little bit different mm -hmm. is we use a back stance. Back stance. So it's called kokutsu dachi, and kokutsu your dachi. weight is to the back side, and we have a front guard and a stomach guard. So when we are moving and sparring, uh -huh. when we do our forms, 95% of the time, we are in this back stance. Oh, is your weight now, in the back? Weight is 70-30. 70, okay. 70, 30. And so the reason he wanted to change from 50-50 or the front stance is these stances are only good for moving forward. Mm. And so he wants to move to the side. So in order to move to the side, he wants to have this foot be light. So okay. it's not carrying a, a lot of your weight. Oh. It's a light foot. Then we're gonna make like a square shape. We're gonna go back, side and forward. Oh. And it puts us onto the other leg. That's and then cool. I'll just repeat that a couple times to start like my, my training. So my weight is not coming to the front side. This, is, this would be more common, like traditional karate. Oh. But this is called back stance kokutsu. Back stance kokutsu. So this is gonna allow me oh, oh, to wow. move. That's cool. Really lightly. Yes, I can see so that. So to, to negate the weight advantage, mm -hmm. size advantage, mm -hmm. he wants to move. So you're creating a lot more angle, angulated movement. So all, all about getting off the line. Did you see this? This looks like very similar to uh, what we have in Kali. Uh -huh. We use a similar pattern for the footwork training. I think there's so many similarities because it's yes. all coming from one original source. Correct. You know? What we do is, the idea is this red line represents the line your opponent's on. Mm -hmm. And most karate, in fact, most martial arts, you are moving up and down the line. Correct. Sometimes you change legs, especially in Taekwondo, they do a lot of switching. Switching. Correct. Um, I would say boxing is a little bit more, they side don't step. stay on the line. Mm -hmm. They sidestep a lot. Correct. So in Taito, what we do is the opponent starts coming down the line. I leave the line. Oh, that's cool. So what the opponent has to do if he's attacking, now he's got to redirect. During uh -huh. this transition, yeah, I try to strike him. Oh. So I move, he starts to redirect, mm -hmm. then some type of attack. Oh. I will strike him. That's cool. So this back kick is called ebi geri. Mm -hmm. If we go ebi next geri. door and order ebi, that's shrimp. shrimp. <laughs> so shrimp kick, ebi geri. Oh, ebi geri. That's interesting, ebi geri. So it used to be a back kick. Uh -huh. Just straight back kick. But you know, his genius is... That's so cool. Let's go tripod. Uh huh. Let's make it more stable because of tripod. Correct. And when I do it at you, you really don't have anything to hit except my butt. So when I kick at you, my upper body has totally disappeared. Wow. Okay. So even if you were to be punching, punching or kicking, on top. there's nothing up here to hit, and just a foot <laughs> coming down the line. What 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 I notice is this is maybe diff a lot different from a lot of different martial arts because. In most martial arts, we're taught to face your opponent and never turn your back. Never again. turn your back. Never turn your back. But you're turning complete away and then dodging at the same time. At the same time. That's pretty cool. And one of the really cool things about Ebigeri mm -hmm. is that since it's a back kick, mm -hmm. you can throw it to the back. Oh. So I can be facing this opponent. Uh huh. You approach from behind, and I don't need to redirect here. I'm straight into Ebigeri. Nice. But I'm totally facing the front. So there's no yeah. waste of movement. Exactly. That is so cool. So and one more nice thing. Uh -huh. And this has really helped us in MMA. Uh -huh. Is you get caught in the up-down position like in this. MMA. Mm -hmm. So then I have some little, you Kicking know, kicks. Advantage, yeah. But it's so dangerous. I'm trying like, to get up and you punching me. Correct. 
So then what we do in Taito is I kick Ebigeri. Since I'm already down here, uh -huh. it's actually quite easy. Yes. So, uh -huh. oh, Ebigeri. Nice. If you were to step away, uh -huh. I'm halfway up now. You can recover so, the So even if, you, even if I miss, uh -huh. I'm up. Makes sense. So Ebigeri has a lot of really cool attributes to it. Mm -hmm. And it's powerful. Yeah. Because it's a stomping motion kick. Are you hitting with a heel? heel. With whole, okay, heel. Whole, only heel. Only heel. Only heel. So when you're striking like this, you're really pulling your toes back. Pulling the toes way back. Oh. So exactly looks like this when you hit the target. Okay. And then usually we are aiming for the body. Okay. So this is one of those Any kicks like- Any specific area that you're hitting? Uh, or just general liver like is a, really nice. Okay. Usually the liver is immediate knockout. Correct. Uh, but Ebigeri, since it's the heel, and since the, the thrust is straight, mm -hmm. so linear, and often the guy's moving forward, you the get impact. that like fastball effect, where like he's almost impaling himself a little bit, because he's moving forward and catching the kick. And you're making the impact like this. And it makes a lot of power, so. I have a video I can show you. Okay, okay. Uh, Ebigeri in real time. Okay. And hit the liver, and oh. that guy went down. That sounds hard. How It's a, uh, called the three-dimensional movement. Three -dimensional. Yes. So instead of, like he said, the body axis is straight vertical mm -hmm. to moving forward and backwards. That's the maybe most of the karates are. Taido is a changing axis. Mm -hmm. Tilting. Tilting, spinning, mm -hmm. twisting, flipping. It's hard to predict. So, so we do, okay. yeah, we do a lot of moving off the line. Then I train in oh. my transition throw techniques. Okay. So I don't need to finish my stance. I don't need to finish my stance in Taito. In Taito, halfway through, kick comes out. Oh. Halfway through my move, punch comes out. So then. You're feeling the gap. Why you're moving, you're feeling adding the attack. Oh, that's pretty cool. And so it's a lot about uh, between the beat. So you're like, beat, the beat, the beat. Taito's almost like move and hit you between the two beats. Oh. So we do a lot of moving and then the gymnastics part. Okay, that's, so, I'm interested. Yeah, yeah. How would you apply those things? Well, let's, first, let's show the technique and yeah, maybe yeah. you can break down the application for me. So we do a lot of rolls, uh, cartwheels, okay. uh, handsprings, okay. back roll, and cartwheel attacks. Okay. Because they're much easier and pretty much everyone can do them. Mm -hmm. So a, a perfect cartwheel, if I do it towards the target here, your perfect cartwheel, your legs go straight over your head like this. And I could use that as a weapon. Uh -huh. It would come down on top of your head. Uh -huh. But the problem is it's very hard to aim and control. And, while in the and air. I only get one target, the top of your head. Mm -hmm. So what I wanna do is break the cartwheel and I don't go fully inverted. Huh. I'm gonna actually do a bad cartwheel and my hips are not gonna go fully over my head. Oh. Then you kick. Wow. And so I can adjust my target. So, so if I wanna do it like this to the leg, uh -huh. I can kick to the leg oh. like this. And if I wanna go to the head, I can go to the head. And this is another one of those situations where if the guy throws a counter, uh -huh. there's nothing for him to hit except my legs. Correct. Because my hands are on the floor. You're limiting my head's the targets out. that's exactly. available to the opponent. Exactly. That's really cool. And when, so you're basically making your car well not as supposed to what it look like. So you kind of lower your leg to a certain angle so they can fire your attacks at a different line. Yes, yes. Wow. And if I miss the, the target, uh -huh. in Taito, it's, it's a very much like a combo art. Mm. So then... um. If I miss, if I miss, immediately I have my punch counter. Mm. And then Taito's so cool. When I miss the punch, uh -huh. then I throw another kick from the floor. Oh. So I, I miss this one. Uh -huh. I miss this one. Oh. So now I'm down here throwing roundhouse from the floor. Roundhouse kick. So you're constantly changing the angle of your attack. Changing the level, you're high, low, but your body is also in active motion as well. The body access oh. changes a lot in Taito. Cool. Because of this, 
Taito is one of the few karates. When you are on the floor, we are allowed to punch you and score. Oh, okay. So I know like if you do kumite yes. and you get swept, mm -hmm. I can't just hit you on the floor. I have to be like, make my kamaya. Yes. Um, boxing, yes. kickboxing, mm -hmm. you get a 10 count. Yep. Uh, MMA is really the only other one. That's why we really liked the idea of MMA because there's no stopping the action. Oh. And in Taito's Jisen, there's no real stopping the action. Mm -hmm. So if you lose balance, mm -hmm. I come forward and strike you while you're on the ground. Okay. Um, if you throw kicks from the ground, mm -hmm. we jump over them. And here's a clip of Mitsuaki Sensei using a Senkar wheel technique in one of his MMA fights in the past. Because like you're saying, these kicks, like the ebigeri, I can be sitting uh -huh. and throw the ebigeri. Nice. Or from this sitting position to the roundhouse kick. Mm. I got a really cool one. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> this one is called hangetsatte. Hangetsatte. Yeah, that means the half moon strike. Oh. So I'm going to go full plank. Oh, wow. Kick. From the full plank. You're coming over your hip with that heel kick. And so the POV is the... It's a, it's, a, it's a straight on. It's a really weird angle. Yeah. Because you look down, the guy went down. Yeah, because you're looking down. And then kicks My coming first instinct would be like, what's he doing down there? And as soon as I look down, I feel like the foot doesn't come out to my head. So then we would, we would use that as a takedown fake. Oh. So then I act like I'm takedown and That's cool. go to the kick. That's cool. My first instinct was doing this to stop the takedown. But as soon as I do this, I notice my hand went down. And then the kick's coming heel first head. to the face. Then if you, to, if you step back uh -huh. and this misses, now you have a, the roundhouse the kick house, is yeah, I can see the roundhouse kick. You're already ready. getting yeah, ready to I come there. What you can do is mm -hmm. try to touch your left hand. My left hand. When you do a right roundhouse kick. Like this. Just touch it. At the same time you hit the pad, touch your hand. So, so you're going down like this and you kick with the right uh -huh, foot. Uh-huh. Like this. Like that. So then when you do that to me, uh -huh. you see your head oh. is totally gone. So I'm moving my head out of the way and sometimes I kick. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it also you create good power because you, so much of your mass has been pulled off the line. Yeah. So then the kick is getting... I feel like I'm not like using a lot more muscle. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, like, it's like you're using the whole body instead mm -hmm. of 80%. Oh. What do you call this? A kaijo. A kaijo. 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 K-A-I-J-O. K -A -I -J -O. Kaijo what does it stand for? What does, what does it mean? It's from the roundhouse family. Oh. So kaijo, shajo, and then just regular That's different roundhouse. That's from Gibi. Yeah, well, we have the word geri, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Kaijo geri. Oh, Kaijo geri, okay. Shajo geri. Okay. Mawashi. So, Mawashi geri is the karate original. Mawashi mm -hmm. geri. Mawashi geri. Then, Taito style is to drop the hand. Oh. But then, also in Taito, we do a lot, okay, so, we do a lot of gymnastics, uh -huh. a lot of footwork. We do a lot of spinning. Spinning? A lot of spinning. Like. So, while I'm sparring... Spin in kaijo geri. Oh, what's the purpose of a spinning? So the spinning is to hide what I'm going to do. Oh. So when I spin at you, you don't know is this going to be kick, punch, knee, chop, Makes flying sense. elbow. Mm -hmm. Also, it closes the space. Correct. So now I'm here. Okay. So I've closed the space, but mm -hmm. instead of closing the space in a more obvious way, uh huh. I'm closing the space no. like this. Now you're not sure, like, is this yeah, going to be a Yeah, because the hands or the foot or hand, the foot. <laughs> is he going to stay standing? Is he going to go to the ground? Mm -hmm. So, and we also do it when we retreat. Retreating. So then you kick at me. Oh. So then we will step away and turn right back around and return fire. Wow. There's so, so many, we do, like... We do a lot of spinning. There's so many things that it's like... The nuances of the movement that I haven't figured out how to, how to encrypt, like, apply towards the, the application, which is really cool. Well, thank you so much, sir. Thank I had you. a great time. Yeah, that was so I hope awesome. you guys liked the video. I'm going to leave his information in the description in the, in the box below. So if you guys have any questions, please contact him directly. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next week.